the Trilobite, or Cuddles, was a creature of enormous size seen at the end of Prometheus, sharing similarities with a conventional facehugger and acting much the same. The trilobite was the result of sperm infected with the black pathogen passing via sexual intercourse and gestating. The trilobite itself rapidly grows within its host, to the size of a three-month fetus within mere hours. While gestating and close to birthing term, the trilobite was seen to push the abdomen outwards, as if attempting to force its way through the belly. As Elizabeth Shaw removed the fetus somewhat prematurely, we do not know if it would erupt through the belly similar to a chestburster or if the trilobite is birthed in a far more conventional and possibly horrifying way. Though it's pure speculation, it's likely, due to its movements prior to surgery, that the trilobite would merely burst forth through the belly. After birthing, the trilobite resembled a small squid with four arms shown to be highly resilient as Shaw attempted to decontaminate the pod and with it, the trilobite. Merely incapacitating it momentarily, the trilobite later grew to an immense size, seemingly without sustenance and all from what nutrients it shared with Elizabeth Shaw while inside of her. Standing well over seven feet tall and with a tentacle span close to 20 foot, the trilobite became this monstrous, mutated representation of a facehugger. Unlike the beast it so closely resembles in function and purpose, it does not leap onto its host's face, relying on its overall body mass and weight to overpower its victim before essentially engulfing it for embryo implantation. Similar to the facehugger, the trilobite sends a feeding tube down its victim's throat. This in turn lays the embryo within the host and, during this time, the trilobite feeds oxygen into the host so they do not suffocate and die prior to birthing. Again, similar to a facehugger, the trilobite once successfully impregnated a host, it will release its victim and die. The overall purpose of the trilobite appears to be simply finding a host to implant a deacon into. It isn't known whether the deacon emerges in an infantile state rather than a chestburst of form due to its host size or due to the size of the trilobite. However, a prevailing theory is that it is actually linked to both. So, the trilobite was this incredible creature we saw at the end of Prometheus. Similar, but different, connecting the world and disconnecting it all at the same time. It was an interesting concept to bring into the franchise if only to introduce a potential connection between the black pathogen and the conventional xenomorph we all know and love. But what did you think of the Trilobite? It seems to split and divide fans, which is understandable. However, I think when viewed as a plot device for future movies, it could be looked on with new appreciation. But as always, I want to know what you thought of this monstrous beast. Did you like it? dislike it, drop your thoughts down below in the comment section and if you did enjoy this video then please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel for more in the future. If you think this video is worth it and you want to support the channel then please head on over to my Patreon page, the link is in the description box. I've been Mr H and until next time I'll catch you in the comment section.